feel and do what you supposed to do Watch everybody that you keeping close to you Go where you bad and won't nobody notice My heart up and raise ain't nothing disposable YouTube, what it do? Y'all already know who I am Man Man Ground Hard checking in again with another video And today I got some more exclusive playability information for y'all boy Now before I get into this video if you have a Twitter and you have not followed me on Twitter, go follow me on Twitter right now. Link down below in the description. I'm on Twitter all the time. My girl get on me all the time about being on Twitter too much. But that's where I connect with a lot of my subscribers or whatnot. So, y'all, go follow me on Twitter right now. I'm close to 8,000 followers on there. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to run up my little, my, my little, my little, my little follow count on Twitter. So, y'all go follow me on Twitter. But back to the video. Uh, the reason why I even brought up Twitter, it wasn't to promote my Twitter, but I wanted to talk to y'all about a lot of the things and a lot of the info that y'all missed by not having a Twitter. A lot of 2K info comes through Twitter first, right? Twitter is kind of like the news outlet for just about any type of information. So a lot of times you see a lot of devs and people that work for 2K tweet out a lot of things regarding the game that not so necessarily like being released in a video or a trailer or something like that. For example, today, one of the devs released all the criteria for being an elite dribbler on NBA 2K18. He lists the archetypes as well as the heights and the minimum and maximum of the heights that you would need in order to dribble on NBA 2K18. Now, in my opinion, if you are planning on being a dribble guy, better yet scratch that. I ain't gonna even say dribble guy. If you are planning on being a ball handler on NBA 2K18, I'm not gonna say a dribble guy. I suggest you pay attention to this chart because if you want to get some of those elite dribble moves then you better make your archetype based off of this now the thing with it is you will be able to have the elite dribble moves that don't necessarily mean you will be a dribble guy and that don't necessarily mean that you will have the most op player build because with you being able to handle the ball and pass you're giving up a lot on offense by having that ability me personally i'm not gonna give my build out right now what i'm planning on making but i'm not making my build based on whether i can dribble or not for the simple fact there's a lot more aspects to the game rather than being able to dribble now if you can dribble on 2k18 you can get to the rack easy this year if you can dribble you better not take your ass in the paint it's a route playboy you feel me you better keep your ass out there in the, around the mid-range of the three-point line don't be trying to go in the paint if you can dribble so with 2k18 you really have to take the time and build your player based off of what you want to do because if you make the wrong archetype you not gonna want to start over you you not so when y'all watching a lot of these videos on archetypes and people telling you the best builds to do this and do that you cannot tell right now based off of a 55 overall prelude character i can't tell you the best build in the game no youtuber can tell you the best build in the game the only person that i've seen personally with the game right now is a fucking bum he can't even tell me nothing about the build that he has so i can't even give y'all a representation of the best player on the game you know what i'm saying like i don't know the best art type on the game i'm solely going off what i see by the devs and what i see by by other content creators that actually went to the event and actually played the game and you can only take that word for so far because you really got to play the game for yourself now 2k18 is going to be a lot different than nba 2k17 playmaker was op i give you that it was op as fuck you could do everything with a playmaker this year if you a playmaker and if you decide you want to be a dribble guy and you want to have the best handles on the game based off of these stats and based off of what i'm seeing right now from the 2k devs you're not gonna be the same playmaker you was in 2k17 i suggest you mix your playmaking skill with another archetype that could do something else because just being a pass first player which 2k really done made you with the playmaker this year you better mix your archetype now that's just my personal opinion now we haven't played the game last year we thought it was gonna be that way this year I'm going to say I'm probably 80% sure that if you if you make a pure playmaking player that can dribble, you really can't do nothing else. You feel me? So you really got to take your time when, listen, I'm going to give y'all the realest advice I can get y'all right now. Day one, when you get in bed 2 18, do not immediately invest in VC. If I was you, this is my opinion. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a lot of different builds, right? 
I'm gonna play with a lot of different builds before I just pick which play I want to make. Now, don't get me wrong, it's gonna cost a lot of money, but with me doing it, I'm sparing y'all. So I can give y'all different builds and what each different build is able to do and what each build cannot do. Do not go invest your money in VC building up a player based off of one YouTuber video that clickbaited you and said, this the, be this the best build in the game. Nine times out of 10, they only play with that one build. How the fuck do they know that's the best build in the game? You know what I'm saying? So take your time before you choose which player you want to make. It's going to be crucial. So if you want to be a ball handler, this is the best information that we have so far. It breaks it down for each archetype, the height, and all of that. So take your time and really decide what you want to do on NBA 2K18 before you invest in a player because it is an investment. And you're not going to want to grind a lot of 99s out. Now, I will drop another video based off of upgrading your player that I seen yesterday. I'll drop that video later on today. But look, that's pretty much all I got for y'all. Dribble guys, this is a video for y'all. You might want to pay attention to this chart. I will leave a link to this tweet down below in the description as well. And that's pretty much all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Pretty much all I got for y'all. 2K18, the grind will be realer than ever. You feel me? Man, man, grind hard checking up out of here. And to the people giving money to the Red Cross, I hope you know that they ain't dropping no bread off. No, they go straight to the head boss. They don't even try to cover niggas' bad costs. Hurricane Harvey came through straight giving blues to turn people living rooms into swimming pools. Heartbroken from the shit I'm seeing in the news. Now, if it's school to throw Nate Coles tennis shoes. When niggas lose everything that they work for, in front yards start looking like dirt roads. First blows got flooded, now the money so low. Niggas robbing old ladies in church clothes.